All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Your Lion April, April, episode episode 21. 21. Second to last episode. The penultimate episode. Mm -hmm. We're here, guys. There wasn't enough time. Why do you say that? Well, Cowrie went out of commission in some way, shape, or capacity at the end of last episode, and then they had a to be the freaking case, yeah. cat die uh-huh. in a car oh, yeah. accident yeah, that yeah. exactly uh-huh. like the last one, yep, yep, drawing yep, yep. symbolism to how mm-hmm. sudden life can be ripped from you, oh, yeah, and also yeah. how it all reminds you back of your past mm-hmm. things with your yep. mother. And just life is suffering and darkness. So you know what's funny? I actually forgot about the whole thing with the cat. I remembered this episode vividly and the ending with the with Cowrie, you know, grasping at the, the railing of her bed and all that stuff until some people in the spoilers channel reminded me and I was like, Oh yeah, that's right. Because I just like just just put it out of my memory. Wow. Because yeah, yeah, that, that oh episode gosh. is just it's brutal. But now we're on to the 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 second to last episode yeah. of the show. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. We're gonna start the episode in five, four, three, two, one. Now. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> oh, I just got chills. Oh, okay. Yeah. That imagery of the empty piano. Yeah, really cool. yeah, yeah, oh, symphony. symphony. Keep calm and symphony. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mm. 
Ah, I came to school. Okay, that's good. Yep. <laughs> Watery, the boy. Mm hmm. He came running. <laughs> Please stop lying. Don't say it like that.
Music transcending words and speaking to him even in this sad state that he's in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Here it is. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is it. This is it. Uh. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 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 
She's gonna see. Yeah. We're gonna help him. <sighs> okay, all right, here we go. Oh, he looked up. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everyone. Yep. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth on the hands.
Yep. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm really proud of this show for ending in the music and not at like some dramatic like negative ending of the surgery mm -hmm. because a lot of the previous episodes ended in similar fashion to mm -hmm. up the kind of dramatic just gut-wrenching emotion of the whole thing but in this you really feel like he's found the meaning in just being a musician and how how much he values that simply not tied to anything else but or not because it's tied to anything else but with all the things that it's tied to with all the people it connects him to and oh, the whole gamut of emotion yeah oh boy guys wow Oh, that was a fantastic episode. Mm -hmm. Like, like you obviously now can kind of see how this episode needed to happen before, you know, basically relating to the does she live or not episode. Absolutely. Because yeah. mm -hmm. this was every other story wrapping up in perfect fashion mm -hmm. in connection to a performance of piano. Yep. Yep. Oh boy. The 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 coming full circle on so many different levels and the the. Oh. Right, he's grown. Yeah, he's grown up. The mm -hmm. journey is still going, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's uh, he's reborn. He's 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 transformed, and I, I think it was uh, was it Mike or Nagi that said it. Well, the the transformed Arima Kose. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it was Mike. I think so. Yeah. Or no, he like, was saying he was saying that the the, uh, the greatest the greatest pianist is still yeah, yeah. yet to mm -hmm. play, you know. Right. But, <laughs> I love uh, how sneaky he was being and stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, everyone but, watching oh. and calling back all of their mm -hmm. little moments of dialogue that have emotional resonance now is a classic, you know, nostalgia yeah. anime oh, move yeah. to mm -hmm. bring back the feelings of the past moments and to <sighs> showcase how they. Uh, we're building up, you know, moments like these. But the really big moment for me this episode was mm -hmm. not even the playing. It was oh, Kauri breaking down mm -hmm. and finally being honest yep. with, um, with Kose. Kose. Yeah. And I'm in scared. some ways, in some mm -hmm. ways, like, I am not emotional about that right now because this is kind of what I've wanted. Kind of what I've wanted and what I've mm -hmm. been waiting for. And in some ways, I I realize the futility of it all because she's probably still gonna die. But but I think in some ways Kose is gonna be okay. And him having this moment where he realized just like what it means to be a musician mm -hmm. and what it means to be who he is. 
right is it, something is something special and he might have needed you know no he definitely needed Kauri in order to realize that mm-hmm. but she's not going to be forgotten she's not going to be you know someone that will disappear and fade even from those you know that aren't Kosei you know like you sure know, the others mm-hmm. you know in yeah. some ways people are going to look yeah. back on this time that they spent mm-hmm. that spring yeah. and realize that that spring was what brought back Kosei from you know where he from, was before from the the dead the essentially brink. yeah yeah you he, know. he's essentially come back yeah. to life and yeah. them kind of using the yeah. visuals of his his performance bursting with color even uh-huh. though it's a sad color well and it's, in contrast with the first episode mm-hmm. monochrome yep. you know yep so, so. he's he's He's, yeah. he's been reborn and and <clears throat> the bits with Kauri were just heartfelt and sad and uh-huh. just painful oh yeah but yep. you really feel like in, in some ways the miracle that she's talking about that can happen mm-hmm. has already happened yep Yep. And in, oh, it's yeah. not just oh, one yeah. miracle it's been nope. it's been it's been multiple mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. her whole yep. l- like her whole last you know nine ten months or whatever this has been has been somewhat of yeah. a miracle. Um, yeah. Her whole, mm-hmm. you know, a- encounter really helping Kosei is pretty much a miracle. Like, yeah. in yeah. some ways, a lot of this was, you know, so sloppy of with regards to their, you know, relationships and the uh-huh. way this whole thing was handled from oh, yeah. that perspective that uh-huh. the way that it, it seems to be going so well right now... Right, so relatively well, yeah. ...is... Is pretty much a miracle as well. Yep, so yep, yep. the oh. you know the whole the whole story makes you you really realize the value of connections and the time that those connections are available to you, mm-hmm. and and you and you realize that when people kind of pass through in the like this competitive piano world and stuff like that, there's lasting impressions left for you know the people oh, yeah. that performed yep. well. And yep. there's the people in the audience that never really connected Absolutely. with the musician as mm-hmm. a person, but right. they did connect with the musician on the stage. Exactly. They, yeah. they, they, they yeah. you yeah. know, they were influenced mm-hmm. by it. There was something the that touched them. them. The yeah. music reached them. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So mm-hmm. in some yeah. ways, that little bit where Kosei then kind of sees her playing with the phantom violin and stuff, mm-hmm. it's beautiful not because he can hear the music mm-hmm. or that he's just so good that he can imagine what the sound would be right. like if she yeah. did actually uh-huh. have a violin. It's that her internal music, her song of her heart is reaching him. Sure. And yep. I thought it was beautiful that right after that, when she falls, mm-hmm. um, she then finally is courageous enough to speak yeah. directly to him with her words because she yep. realizes the finality of the surgery potentially Ugh. and and let's be real like if this anime wanted to like they could kill her at any point from here on out well i mean there's only one episode no left. what i'm saying is that they could do it in any way they wanted basically oh sure they could do something where it's like the surgery gets her you know 20 more years or something and then yep. it does a time skip and you know yep. and then who knows dies, you know or, yeah I, I still think she's gonna know. die in the next episode but that doesn't mean anything in terms of the story so well, right if she dies if she dies at all it's in the next episode yeah exactly you know? so but, uh, <sighs> i almost thought that the um the letter left for him mm-hmm. was going to be the letter on the piano oh yeah in the opening because mm-hmm. i've been thinking about ways that you know, and I, I theorized this about her leaving mm-hmm. a song for him that she yeah. re, she created, mm-hmm. an original song. And in that song, it's essentially a letter. It's not really a love letter, but it's more of a remember me letter. Sure. And, and yeah. with a song, she would be remembered in that regard. However, this was the more emotional bit, which is the, I need you right now. Mm-hmm. And yeah. let me tell you, mm-hmm. the way they decided to have this be done, meaning that Watery... Mm-hmm. The boy that he is, mm-hmm. he stuck around the hospital. Yep. Like, you realize this, right? Yeah. He had to have received the letter. Uh-huh. There's no way that he was, like, oh, yeah. sent the letter from the parents yeah. out of the hospital, yeah, down no. to finding no. Watery, wherever yeah. he is. He takes the letter, then goes to Kosei. No, yeah. he hangs out at the hospital because not only does he care mm-hmm. about Kaori, he cares about Kosei. Yep. And yep. then when the letter is given to him, mm-hmm. it's something that... 
Which could have taken a long time, by the way. She was in the ICU. It's so. something, though, that it's different because not only does it take effort to do, mm -hmm. it's proof that she's awake. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in depth into this. Uh -huh. now, now, the one thing she could have said is, tell Kose, bring me uh -huh. Canales or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll know what that means. No, 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 no. Because if he does that, Kose will just say no. Like, mm -hmm. no, there's no way. Yeah. Like, I'm not experiencing mm -hmm. that again. But right. seeing the letter, yeah. seeing the letter that, that she, she had to have written, uh -huh. yeah. she had to have yeah. written, uh, meaning yeah. that he not only knows her penmanship maybe mm -hmm. a little bit, but he also realizes, oh my God, mm -hmm. she's awake yeah. and I might get some time with her. And when she basically can't even stand, she still, you know, yeah, she's made the point of, me. of writing a handwritten letter, even though she couldn't write much, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That that yeah. oh just thinking about uh -huh. it just just yep. just tears yep. me up inside yep. Yep. that's the kind of thing mm. that the story can do that's both emotional manipulation and stroke of genius writing mm -hmm. because oh yeah absolutely uh, both um yeah is is just fantastic uh, one of the things that there are a lot of things in this show that i love <sighs> a lot mm-hmm and a lot of it will be like specific lines that I think are really poignant, really beautiful, really inspiring, you know, that, that you know, pluck away at the heartstrings, right? Mm -hmm. um, but one of them is the whole idea of look up. Mm -hmm. For some reason, that's one of the ones that always gets me. And the, the whole idea of Kosei coming full circle here in this episode where, you know, it's... Like, both with the whole color aspect, but then also just the going right back to where he was at the beginning, you know. It's it's the it's the classic night is dark is just before the dawn kind of a thing where, you know, all is you know, all is lost and all that stuff and 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 he's up there on the stage and he can't do anything and then, you know, because of a random sneeze, he actually looks up. And he sees everyone that is basically one there. For right, him, right. Mm -hmm. You know, even Subaki, who I would totally understand if she wasn't there because you know she needed time away from him right now, or she was upset with him, or you know, or whatever. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that's also the kind of excuses that Kosei would come up with. Uh huh. Even yeah. though, like, yeah, like it oh, makes absolutely. perfect sense that she'd be there. Like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Of course yeah. she would be. And and the fact that basically cuz it's the very fact that he has to look up right you know you're always looking down mm -hmm. you know you're looking down again because and this like this is probably something that just like resonates with me a lot like personally because in in this show they have it as a as a sort of you know double attack with the the music aspect and the artistic aspect and all of that but then also with the whole deal of what's going on with Cowrie Right. Mm -hmm. um, as someone who is both, you know, all for the artistic stuff with, you know, writing and all that, and also someone who has had uh, a loved one that um, has had some medical issues, not on the same level of Kauri, but bad. suffering, 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 and. So many times I've let myself look down. Look down. Yeah. And yeah, when you're yeah. there, I mean, like, there's what you focus on, you find. So you don't find much. You don't find much at all. And it's very hard to get out of those those spaces and those places. And it's almost impossible without someone else to help you along. But then sometimes it can just be something as, as small as, you know, a sneeze, right? Yeah. And then, and then that just gives you just enough time perspective whatever to realize that you are in fact looking down yeah. right and then you're just like okay i'm going to look I'm, I'm gonna try looking up and you look up and and the world is nowhere near as dark as you thought it was and and you know there and 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 you see all these things that that you would have never seen yeah you would have never ever seen you know that's a great point like like the fact that the fact that Washiri and and Tsubaki and and Seto and 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 everybody was there yeah. cheering him on, you know, 
praying that he will that he will do do it do it all right and he isn't able to perceive that he isn't able to know that be aware of that because he's so focused on looking down yeah and then you know yeah. something as simple as words that someone said a long time ago and then he's able to look up mm-hmm. yeah. that just ruins me yeah like, yeah this this is the this was kind of the the culmination of that aspect of of kose where you realize that tomorrow mm-hmm. you know he might be dealing with a whole different kind of pain he might yeah. be dealing with something else that would make him look down mm-hmm. but the thing is is that i think in this moment he kind of struck a struck a i, I don't know how to, to say it i struck a tent pole in his life basically sure where his perimeters his boundaries have just mm-hmm. expanded his world has just gotten a lot bigger sure he's now able to have all of them in it mm-hmm. he's able to let them all be in it right and mm-hmm. part of it and yeah yeah he's going to feel a lot smaller when when Calry goes but but in thinking about how he utilized not just the thoughts of Cowrie, mm-hmm. but the thoughts of all the others yep. to bring him back to this. It wasn't mm-hmm. just Cowrie. Like right. If it was just Cowrie, that would be a very regular anime uh-huh. kind of resolution to it. And that, that would, and that would be an unsatisfying resolution because then it's like, okay, if she goes, will he really be okay? Yep. Yep. Yeah. And now we mm-hmm. know that for the most part, it's a journey, but he will be. Yeah. And this is something that I, I can say with full knowledge that I'm going to be a blubbering mess in the next <laughs> episode. But everything's going to be daijobu. Everything's going to be daijobu. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, specifically, well, keep telling that. specifically because I think that Cowrie's able to be honest with him mm-hmm. is going to give him so much more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Help Absolutely. with uh, with processing all the emotions. Yeah. Hundred. 110 percent yeah the that's, thing yeah. that the thing that could still be kind of rough though mm-hmm. is if she dies in the surgery yeah that, like that, that would suck that would suck that would be that would couple, be the worst timeline there's still a couple things that they really want to say to each other mm-hmm. also yeah i think the other thing would be really rough is the he gets to say things to her but she's basically like you know dead in an hour and she's not able to hear it or uh-huh. anything. So right. it's basically just him crying over her dying self in the hospital room. I'm already making myself like sad just yeah. thinking about that. And and <sighs> again, this is something that I've mentioned before, but I feel like every time it comes up, I have to mention it again. <sighs> mm-hmm. But the ending is one of the most gorgeous, amazing, sad things that i have ever seen so sad and it fits so well and i love it so much Uh. and the fact that like okay a a Uh. show with as much budget as your lion april that is able to make things look as gorgeous as it does Mm -hmm. does something so minimalistic for the ending Mm. i absolutely love it yeah song aside the song is gorgeous and wonderful yeah the song brings me to tears but the fact that, like, for the visuals, they just have Kaori lying there in the water. Beautiful sunset behind her, you know, but not I mean, really much it, of any movement. It transitions. Yeah, yeah, it transitions and all that. And then and then the fact, the, the part where it goes from that to stars. her falling through the stars and how they sync that up with the song for the transition and everything and what happened, you know, all, all, the, all the, as the song progresses throughout all of that and then it goes to the end of the ending. And, and it's just like, if... <laughs> If somehow someone is able to watch all of your Lion April and actually really be watching it, having it be reaching them essentially, you know, not just turning their mind off and being like, oh, well, this is just some anime, blah, 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 whatever, you know. Um, and and it doesn't, you know, move them. Like, I, I don't know what will. Like, like... I, <sighs> yeah... Oh, guys, yeah. uh, this is a good, mm-hmm. a good episode for Kosei. It was a really good one for Kaori as well. 
I love that they had their little time uh, together. Yeah. Like their only really honest mm-hmm. time together. Yep. Yep. It sucks. But uh-huh. that's basically it. I'll probably get a little bit in the next episode. I don't want to see any like you know holding you in my arms kind of ending, <laughs> but um I'm I'm guessing mm-hmm. um that it's it's um it's gonna be heavy. It's gonna be heavy. <laughs> Um, oh. other, other than that, guys, here we go. Yeah. Headed towards the finale. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. If you want to watch the next episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get on early access there. Any kind of support gives you access to our Discord, where you can I chat with us. I am in the spoilers. Us. That's true. He is in the spoiler section of that. Which won't be spoilers for long. That's true. I'll get to jump in there and scroll up for a while see all the weird things you guys have said about me (laughs) but uh yeah if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time. time